هذا هو اليوم الذي صنعه الرب فلنفرح ولنتهلل به المسيح قام من بين الأموات وواطئ الموت بالموت ووهب الحياة للذين في القبور المسيح قام من بين الأموات وواطئ الموت بالموت ووهب الحياة للذين في القبور Christos on esti epne kron thanaton, thanaton batisas, keti sentith ni masi zoif karis amenos. Ah, it was nasty, Messi Ham. Ah, it's uh, Vita 26 today. That means there's only four days left to Vita, and it's all over. Ah. Yeah, it's April 26, 2012, and it's time for Common Sex. Last night, uh, or yesterday, I spent eight hours working on a video editing feature, debugging it and getting it to work properly. I finally did, so uh, Adventures in the Library will, will come out today, but it'll be a little delayed, and some of the features in it will be, will have some new features in there, so... Uh, same thing with the news. This is this will affect a lot of a lot of the different production for this will affect. So I will be bringing the upgraded versions of my videos uh, this week. Actually, just uh, I have one thing that I have to get done today. A supplemental. Uh, I realized that when I was doing uh, the uh, the chemical diagrams, the uh, the, the structures of the of the organic molecule of the hydrocarbons that it was difficult to see and I was able to uh, this is what I did yesterday put together a screencast that uh, showed what I was tr talking about so these will be supplementals the supp there will be supplementals to Adventures in the Library that will be on the uh, Space API channel. Uh, because these will deal with specific with the with the elements of organic chemistry uh, at this point in time, and then uh, after that, uh, anything else that needs to be uh, detailed that will be come out will come up there. So I'm gonna, I have it, I, I will be we will, will be sort of in, in this in sort of adventures in the library branching off to a bit of. Uh, organic chemistry but uh, not too much uh, I, I don't think it depends on what's in the book and then from from there uh, basically I'm working on the, the opening theme will, will stay this way until basically uh, sometime in May near the end of May the opening thing will stay but I'm working on a new opening thing thing uh, this will be my sh so this will be, it will be my first official title opening title that uh, opening thing that uh, Big Bang Theory will have uh, this is somewhat of an unofficial one and it's not doesn't have my name on it because uh, I haven't put the title in there but it's got the opening theme so uh, this will occur every year at this time uh, uh, after uh, Pascha, the Greek Easter, uh, we will be having this for 40 days, and then uh, there will be an, the the new opening. And I'm working on it right now. Let's, let's, let's see how many of you recognize who, what it is. Uh, it's a mishmash of bit of one thing, one one sound bite. And it produces a nice little tune. Um, that's all for now. It's a sh short today because I spent an enormous amount of time yesterday just doing debug. Uh, and the thing is, uh, this is one thing I want to say about debug uh, for the Linux crowd and for anyone who's considering Linux. Uh, when something doesn't work, what Linux allows you to do it allows you to go in and debug things. You, this is for upgrades or whatever, and you can really sort of fix things up in a different manner than you would 
if you're on Windows or Macintosh, uh, or I should say Apple, Macintosh is the is the actual product rather than the uh, and uh, people get frustrated because they look for help in the community and they copy what they see in the community and paste it and when this solution doesn't work for them they get frustrated and walk away from it. What I've found is that the community that has examples out there of how something works uh, works for them, but if your configuration is different depending on, on how you've got your system configured, things may not work for you exactly the same way. But what happens, and this, this is what I did, is that uh, a large chunk of the screencasts that I saw that were being captured out there were being captured in uh, an MKV format which produced uh, massive, massive files and then converted it to HD. Well, looking through, uh, I think, four or five different examples and different sites on how to do things, I eventually stumbled, all, stumbled on a way, and it worked uh, just around 10 o'clock last night, uh, to do HD screencasts. And it, it goes directly to HD. The files are reasonably, reasonably sized. Uh, so, the concern for having a high quality broadcast, a screencast, uh, really wasn't an issue anymore. I've had, that's been done. I fixed that up around 10:30 last night. Uh, there are some new features I want. I do want to add to it because uh, there are more features that can't be added to this uh, now that I have this new capacity and. Uh, We're we'll going we'll to see where we're going to go from there. And what I ended up doing is I ended up removing Pulse Audio. Pulse Audio was having an enormous amount of problems. For some reason, uh, on this latest version of uh, Ubuntu, uh, and, and I'm talking particularly with the Kubuntu, the Kubuntu flavor of it, the KDE version, uh, the Pulse Audio service seemed to have a lot of issues, particularly lag issues. So the... I wasn't, I didn't really want to remove Pulse Audio, but I ended up removing it, and then worked around it, and it seems to, it seems to be working fine without Pulse Audio, I don't really see an issue, uh, uh, in terms of having Pulse Audio on the desktop, so, we'll see how things go, uh, I will be uh, doing more work in the development community. I'm sort of taking the next steps up there as I debug this. this, this. Right now, I'm kind of out, out my, I've got systems on the bench to uh, refurbish. They're not finished yet, so I'm using one system to do uh, development, video editing, and I'm setting up a music studio, Linux Music Studio, uh, on the same system. But my network, I upgraded my network last year, and the network itself has, now has, is configured so that I can handle, uh, easily, well, it can be, it can be multiply configured, and it's, it's, it's a one, it's a gigabit, it's a gigabit system across the, uh, the backbone is, is one gigabit, one gigabit per sec, per second. So, the speed is there. Uh, as long as the computer can handle it. Uh, right now, everything seems to be running at uh, 100 megabits per second. So, that's a good, you know, speed. Things are going, moving across pretty well. Uh, the time lag between, when I, from what most things that I have to move, isn't so bad. Uh, even if I have to move 30 gigabytes uh, across the network, uh, I'm only looking at about 45 minutes worth of time. So, and because I've got multiple systems here, uh, that's not necessarily an issue in terms of slowing myself down and work. What I have to do next is I have to set up uh, off the main network. I have to set up network segments, and there's going to be the electronics lab segment. There's going to be the uh, music studio segment, then there's going to be a segment 
uh, specifically for the uh, library and the file server, the file server and the library there. So we're going to put uh, a moving, aiming to move from uh, the the uh, the three terabytes I'm at now. I'm at planning to add another two terabytes. Uh, maybe a third terabyte, maybe go up to six terabytes. I'm not sure yet how I want to do things. Uh, and then uh, I want to fix, I'm working on it, fixing up uh, fixing up my back machine shop and then adding the computer system, uh, adding a segment to there. So we'll see what, we'll see what happens and see how things go because uh, it depends on the budget that I have. Uh, if my budget's all right, then I'll do that. If my budget's not all right, then we'll have to do some workarounds. Anyways, that's it for today. Uh, I'm still a little knocked out. Take it easy. I'll see you around. Free speech rules here at Democratic Earth.